constituencies in the name of CDF to help in development. What other development are you going to State House to get, these members of parliament? We cannot build democracy in this country, sustain it, if members of parliament are being bought day and night in the name of development. That is an, uh, the third issue. The last issue is the exclusion of other communities from civil service employment. You have seen what is happening. Even you, the youth, because that time, wakati ule, nyinyi vijana ndiyo mlikuwa mnasema hasula, hasula, hasula. Munyambia wakati huu, how many youth have been employed? All these people have been employed. From the CSS, from the PSS, and from the CASS. And even those who have been appointed as members of the boards, chairman of the boards, tell me how many hustlers are there. That is an issue. Because this country belongs to all of us. And we must be included because all of us pay taxes. So we must be included in that. Those are the four critical issues that we are focusing on. But other issues might arise. And we shall look at them as they arise. The other day in Kimaliza, I met one of them. And he was telling me, he was asking me, how is the financier? How is your financier? I said, who is this financier? At Uhuru Kenyatta. Nikasema, when do we go for this mass action? Do we pay the people who come there? Do we transport people who come there? Do we transport them? It is only the, the address system. You mean these people cannot afford an address system? Do we finance those ladies who pour water on us when there is jackass who use that water to wipe our eyes? Do we pay them? So which finances is here? And if Uru can finance Raila Molodika this time, how come when Raila was demonstrating against him, who was financing Raila Molodinga? And this is not the first time Raila is, is leading such a movement. It has happened before. But you Kenyans, as we live here, remember, we have had election disputes from 2007-2008. We lost so many lives. 2013, 2017, and now we are on 2022. We must have a lasting solution for this problem. If we have to have stability and economic growth in this country, we must have that. But the Amwisho, I'm surprised when Ruto says that we can't borrow for current expenditure. When people are going without salaries, and the salaries is a major expenditure within the economy. That's how you grow the economy, by putting more money in the economy through the people. And the salary is the only equitable way of putting money in the economy. And that's why 2009, 2007, 2008, when we had problems here in Kenya, we had to come up with economic stimulus so that we pour more money in the economy to grow the economy so that people can get employment as and then son. Uh, thank you very much. I think that was our last speaker before I now bring our main speakers. And uh, I will be requesting Adam the law that after Mama na Baba wakisha ungea, tutakuwa tumemalizia hapo so nitaomba ya kwamba resolutions zetu uh, suba church will uh, read for us uh, so that when i bring ba mama alete baba tufungie hapo but before we do that
I just want to say one or 